if your prospective audience digs it, then Google's going to dig it. Now we're a little, we're not perfect, but you, you get what I'm saying. They're going to yeah. get there. What the audience wants is what Google wants, and Google will catch up. It took them a while, and there were loopholes to exploit along the way, but a lot of people got burned because they didn't take Google at their word, that they would get there. And then with Panda and Penguin, and now with Hummingbird, uh, you wrote a great article about Hummingbird that really shows that the more natural the query when it comes from the way a human being might think about a topic, that's the way your content's going to have to read, which is great because that's how you're supposed to write in the first place, right? I mean, I think we just went through this historical anomaly where people were SEO copywriting, where we wrote in ways because Google didn't quite get it. Google's getting it now, and this is great news. I think it's less to worry about, right? If your prospective audience digs it, then Google's going to dig it. Now we're a little, we're not perfect, but you, you get what I'm saying. They're going to yeah. get there. In my view, what Google's wanted you to do in real terms hasn't changed since the very beginning. Right. What's changed is how well they've documented it, that's part of it, and also how well they're able to enforce it. And that yeah. gap is closing. So it's always important to understand it's not really hard to tell what Google wants you to be doing five years from now. Right. right? No, yeah, it's hard for people to take a long view, though. And I think um, because our philosophy was always audience first, email list first, social media distribution, absolutely. But if our Google rankings disappeared, we'd lose traffic, but we wouldn't lose the audience. So your process has to be set up to be Google proof. I remember... 2007, 2008, people started using the word defensible traffic. And I was like, oh, that's what I'm doing. That's a neat <laughs> term. But I mean, search traffic is great, but an email list is more valuable. That's a direct relationship. You own that, right? So you don't own Google, no matter how good you rank. <laughs> so it's always good to be defensible in your thinking. And that means build a direct relationship with the audience first. And again, that's what content marketing is. So I always say that the search rankings are the icing on the cake. And it just makes the whole process uh, so that people talk about ROI. It's ridiculous what the ROI is if you get all the elements right.